I simply can't take it anymore, which is why I'm leaving Florida and I'm out. Goodbye, Florida. Maybe I'll be back one day. Time will tell, I don't know, yet to be determined. I mean, let's face it, Florida is not all it's cracked up to be. It's simply not the right place to live for many people. It is simply way too hot. And everybody knows that it's hot, but let me put it into context that will help you understand a little bit better. During the Florida summer, it feels like you're breathing through a wet sock about 99% of the time. And if you live here, your air conditioning bill is going to be through the roof. And God forbid you ever lose power during hurricane season, because if you ain't got AC, you are going to die. And maybe you won't actually die, but you'll probably wish that you had, because it's gotta be better than the unrelenting heat that you will definitely feel if your air conditioner does not work. And there's frogs, look at this guy. Go away, fella. Go away, go home, go back to where you came from. You can't be here anymore. You gots to go. And I hope that little fella is a hell of a lot happier than he was here, but I gotta go too, because I simply can't take it anymore. Home prices continue to skyrocket and mortgage interest rates continue to uptick too. And please don't get me started about property insurance because homeowners insurance is a nightmare. And it seems like a new insurer leaves the state every other week. And who could possibly blame them? Because living in Florida is horrible for some folks. And a question that I get asked often and probably not often enough but it's a question that must be addressed because everybody seems to want to know, especially anybody who lives on a lake, is the alligator problem. And let's face it, the lakes that are here, like the one behind me at my house, it's not a real lake, it's man-made. And the only real purpose that it has is to breed mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes are relentless. I think I just got one. Or perhaps I should say it just got me. And while I just recently read a news article talking about the fact that leprosy is on the uptick, I want to know when somebody's going to address the uptick in malaria. And while I certainly haven't had malaria yet, it's only a matter of time because these mosquitoes won't stop biting me. And yes, I know that there is no state income tax in the state of Florida. And they keep telling me that the Florida economy is strong but you can't possibly expect me to believe them because how can I trust them when the traffic is so bad? If they can't do a better job controlling the traffic situation by building better and more efficient roads, how could I possibly believe them when they tell me that the economy is strong? And it won't stop raining. But when it's not raining, it's sunny. And somebody with fair skin like me absolutely should not be in the sun and the sun is killing me. And if the sun doesn't do me in, well, I hope nobody ever shoots me. And yes, I've got my concealed weapons permit and have the right to own and bear firearms, but who knows how long I'll actually have that. Who knows how long it is until they take that away from me too. Because at some point, they're going to take everything away from me and I'm sure I'm going to lose it all. And that is exactly why I'm leaving. And I'm going to Washington State. But I'm not going to allow them to put me in a cage and treat me like a dog. I'm going to insist they treat me a little bit better than that. Because I've earned it. And if you made it this far, I appreciate your view. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm not leaving forever, but I am going to escape and disconnect into nature while I hike with some friends in North Cascades National Park. And I hope it's obvious that I'm kidding. Of course, I'm going to be back to Florida because I love it here. Where else can you possibly build a bungalow for a nice retired couple to max out and enjoy their retirement for a mere $2 million? Which is obviously how much that house would cost if you hired the wrong real estate professional. Because ain't nobody overpaying on my watch. And speaking of watch, I'm probably going to have to adjust my watch because of the time change in Washington.
but at least I know while I'm on this trip, I will not be eaten by a shark. Because living in Florida, you might. Although I doubt it sincerely. Now I hope you found this content valuable, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, check me out on Twitter where I can never be censored, follow me on Patreon where I go off, and check out my next video because I suspect you will love it a lot. And until next time, peace!